I played the career of one of the best strikers in FM24, and this is how it went. Remember the name, Marcus Leonardo. Leonardo came through the ranks of Brazilian club Santos like several Brazilian greats, and was even touted to be joining Premier League clubs at the end of 2023. However, in real life, Benfica have already snapped him up, and his time in Lisbon has been positive so far, with him scoring three goals in four league appearances at the time of recording. But this could only be scratching the surface of how good this lad could be, so let's dive into FM24, play his career, and see how he develops. Right guys, so this is the player in question. This is Marcus Leonardo. If you are starting an FM24 save right now, real world game mode, he is still at Santos. Once the data update comes up for FM24, he will obviously have that prearranged move to Benfica like has happened in real life. But for right now, you can pick this guy up and I think he looks absolutely amazing. If we uh, change that to the, the graph that people like to see, you can see already he is a very good player. He is young. He is 19 years of age, coming out of Santos over in Brazil. Brazilian Youth International. Uh, sorry, no, he's not. He's not in this save yet, a Brazilian Youth International. 15 finishing, 15 off the ball, 14 technique. It's all of the good attributes that you need to be that centre forward. As you can already see on the right, uh, sorry, on the left-hand side of the screen, he's a four-star poacher and a four-star advanced forward in this Santos team, age 19. If we go into his overall report, this is what you will see uh, for him at the moment at Santos. Uh, fits in well. Ability to strike a ball sweetly makes him a good finisher. Mwah, that is perfect that you just want to see that. Leading player for most teams in the Brazilian League. That's cool. He's also uh, performed well in training, which is great. Can play multiple positions. Fair amount of of pace, consistent performer, balanced and normal personality, and could improve a lot in the future. And that is exactly what you want. If you go back onto his profile, you can see in the top right, he is currently listed as a five star player. Um, he's also valued at 9 million to 13 million. And if you go to get him, he doesn't have a minimum fee release clause for non-domestic clubs. But if you're in Brazil, he's going to cost an absolute fortune. But if you are trying to get him for uh, somewhere in your save, if you're playing in the Premier League and you need a centre forward, this is the guy for you. I mean, Evan Ferguson, you know, he's going to cost an absolute bomb. This guy is not going to be anywhere near as expensive. And he's good on both feet. And for me, I think he's worth every single penny. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take a look at some of his hidden stats that I can do with the amazing Tato skin. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. If you have the in-game editor enabled like I do have in this one, you can kind of see how good Marcus Leonardo is. You can see some of his hidden attributes. Again, they range from zero all the way up to 20 as well, much like all the ones on his normal uh, profile. You can see his reputation, but you can also see that potential ability. 163, that is a very good caliber player guys i think marcus rashford to use as an example is 151 current ability so you can see he has the potential to be even better than that he's a very very good player i think the likes of like Osimhen are like 170 so that gives you the sort of area that you can kind of look for with him he's currently at 130 so we're going to track his journey and see how he does get on but we'll flick that back over to the graph for this uh, what we're going to do guys is we're going to pin him in position we are currently the santos manager we're not going to do anything else we're going to leave it all up to the assistant we're just going to make sure that marcus leonardo plays games of football we're not in charge of transfers we're just going to let the game do its thing but when he moves clubs we will move clubs as well to make sure that he continues to play you don't want him moving to somewhere in europe for instance and not getting the game time so we are going to do that so let's flash forward to the first save point and let's see if he's still in brazil So the first save point is actually just one season into the future. I just wanted to see how he got on in his first season at Santos. Sometimes he moves, sometimes he doesn't. In this instance, he did not move. But what he did do is play an awful lot of football because there is a ludicrous amount of games in Brazil. If you've not done a save in Brazil, there's a lot. There is a lot. As you can see in on his profile down at the bottom, he played 75 games in all competitions. It's a crazy, crazy volume. But he did score... 46 goals in those games, which is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant return. If you think that's 
over a goal uh every other game which is fantastic he only provided six assists but he was the out and out striker in this tactic um i think he's done superbly superbly well we're going to go and take a look at some of the other stuff and see if we've got any milestones in here he was the top goal scorer in the in the brazilian division santos actually won the Serie A over in brazil and if you've seen brazil irl Santos actually got relegated, so it goes to show what a good player can do in this particular system and obviously in this setup. He was the top goal scorer in the Sao Paulo State Championship, etc. Brazilian Cup, he was the top goal scorer. So you can see that this man bags goals, but he is still at Santos, which is really, really interesting. I'm still expecting him to move at some point, but at the moment, he hasn't done that. So I just wanted to show you the first season to show you what he's capable of at such a young age. He's still only 20, guys. We're going to jump forward four seasons into the future because now he's finally made a big move. So we are now in the year 2027 and he's actually racked up several seasons in this simulation and he's had his big move but first of all we're going to hide that from you we're just going to have a look at how he's got on it santos on your screen as you can see the first couple of seasons he has played games ladies and gentlemen this is the first season that we did look at 75 games 46 goals the following season 76 games again 45 goals then the following season he only managed 36 appearances and 29 goals and he got an average of a 7.24 rating before he was bought by Tottenham. Yes, he's moved to Spurs um, and he's been purchased for 15.5 million, which for me, the level of ability on this guy is an absolute snip. He's done really well whilst he's been at, uh, at Tottenham as well. 10 goals in the league in his first season, but 20 in all competitions has done very, very well there. Then in that following season, he stepped it up. 58 appearances, all starts, 37 goal contribute or sorry goals in all competitions again 22 in the premier league nine in cups uh six in continental competition which obviously goes to show that tottenham are doing something right as well uh, and we will go and have a look at his profile now and this is how marcus leonardo is looking age 24 two caps for the brazilian national team as well just the one goal but that's good this is a good return and he's done very very well for santos domestic uh sorry mentally he's really improved off the balls his composures his decision making is all brilliant up here physically he still looks very good and he's got that 16 finishing to go with him now now on his profile now i can already see he is wanted by manchester city which is going to be really interesting but you will notice that his current ability is at a three star level and that is because he's being ranked on the spurs players um which if we sort by highest ability mickey van der ven and christian romero uh kulievsky laporte is here you can kind of see the sort of level so obviously van der ven is unbelievably fast in this year's game and a very good center back but this is how he looks that's why his star rating has gone down because star ratings are not overall they are just comparative to to the team that you are with but he has done superbly well so let's go back into his history and take a look at some of his milestones let's have a look at his competitions and see how he's got on so he's won himself some more stuff in brazil which is great to see he's then moved to tottenham and he's managed to win tottenham a couple of trophies he's won the fa cup with spurs which is fantastic they were runners up in the community shield there is his first cap against scotland for brazil and then they've won tottenham the premier league with this man as the focal point as the main striker doing something that harry kane couldn't do winning tottenham trophies if we go on to his awards you can see he's done very very well here and an unbelievable result in terms of how he's played for santos i believe he is their club record goal scorer if we go and have a look at their records uh, most league goals by a player is marcus leonardo 103 goals for the club bearing in mind pele and neymar have come through this club i think it's a very good accolade for marcus leonardo to have uh, but yes he is looking very good at tottenham but he is wanted by manchester city we are going to jump forward into the future and see if he does make that move north to Manchester. So we are now in the year 2028 and Marcus Leonardo has made a move. He is playing in blue, but he's not in Manchester City. 
anymore. He's moved. He's at PSG. He did have a year at Manchester City. We will go over that in a second. But this is how Marcus Leonardo is looking now, age 25. He's had some great time to develop and he's playing at one of the best clubs in Europe in game. Obviously, I know PSG are likely to flop stuff in real life, but in game PSG are a very, very different animal. And unfortunately for us, he's been moved out onto the left-hand side because they still have someone called Kylian Mbappe up top. So this is how he's set up. He, this is how he's developed. Again, he still looks very good. 17 composure, 17 anticipation, 17 off the ball. This guy is unreal. And look at him now. He's now rated as a three and a half star player in a team with Kylian Mbappe. So you can see the level that he is at. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to be interested to see how his career has moved and how things have gone. The fee for him that Spurs paid has now increased. It's gone up to 18.25 million. And he had another good third season with Spurs. 37 goals in all competitions is a very, very good points return that we did discuss last time. He did make the move north to Manchester City. 59 million they paid for him uh, for his services. But again, they have a striker. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. His name's Erling Haaland. So again, Leonardo was playing out on that left hand side he has now made the move to psg two goals in three appearances so far for psg which is very impressive to say the least he looks very good i'm very happy with how he's developed in this save and if we go and take a look at some of his milestones as well let's have a look at the competitions he did win himself a champions league at Manchester City as well. So he's doing very well. He's picking up trophies. He's won basically almost everything you can win in England, including a Champions League. Now, Carabao cut runners up. It would have been good if he could have completed the set before moving. But alas, he has done incredibly well. If we look at some of his landmarks as well, all-time leading goal scorer for Santos, we've already discussed. Bro, the FA Community Shield for fastest goal, scoring after 56 seconds against Manchester United, which they did lose that one. But either way, it is still a very good achievement. And I think Leonardo is doing very good things. In this PSG team, I'd like to think that he can go on and win a lot more. Obviously, Ligue 1 will be the minimum along with the Coupe de France. But I think he's aging pretty darn nicely. 25 years of age now. We'll just have a quick check-in on his hiddens. And he has hit that 161 current ability. He is a very, very good footballer. A very proficient goal scorer. And again, you could have got him right at the start for around 10 to 12 million. He's an unbelievable talent. We're going to do one more start. We're just going to jump forward a little bit further into the future just to see if he moves again or to see how the next five years of his career does pan out. So here we are then in the future. It is 2033. We are a decent chunk into this man's career. He's still only 30, so he's still an elite level player i still think he's a very good player he has currently suffered a cruciate ligament injury in this particular save which is devastating to his physicals but mentally and technically he still has it he is still a psg player and he looks fantastic still he has some of the great hidden attributes like his consistency they say he's a very consistent performer he's a leading leading sorry a star player for most league our sides uh, a very strong attribute of movement which is great he likes big matches it's all coming up millhouse for marcus leonardo if we go and take a look at his history since he's been at psg he completed that first season only getting 15 goals in all competitions 21 in the following season 21 again 21 again and then 12 in this most recent season obviously where he did suffer that injury but he's been in paris for a very long time doing very good things his overall goal scoring record is pretty darn impressive especially considering the last six years of his career he's been shunted out as an inside forward on the left but it does go to show some of his versatility if we go into his milestones let's have a look at his landmarks he is also the psg vice captain now which is pretty cool to see let's go and see what he has won because he's obviously won a decent amount whilst being at PSG. He's won the Coupe de France League. Uh, he's won the uh, Club World Cup, the Trophy de Champion. He's done very well there. Another Champions League runner-up, unfortunately, but dominating majority of things here. And then a big one for you Brazilians. He has won the Copa America with Brazil in 2032, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Now, there are some things that he may have been eligible for i haven't looked at these but unfortunately it is no ballon d'ors his teammate Kylian mbappe and yanami pino have been picking these up so 
Has he ever been in contention? I don't know. Let's flick through super quickly. It doesn't look like it to me. No, it doesn't even look like he's even been in contention for the Ballon d'Or. Has he won anything else? Did he win at NXGN or anything like that? Lamini Mao, Naipan, no, didn't win that. Any goal 50s, maybe? I'm, I'm really clutching at straws now to see if he's among one of the elites in the game. But obviously, when you do look at some of these players, uh, Kylian Mbappe, Rodrigo, etc., they will set you back a pretty penny. Let's have a look finally at the uh, best team. Where am I going? Team of the year. There we go. Uh, he hasn't made it this season. Let's go for all seasons. Has he made it in? No, unfortunately not. Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland and Rodrigo take up those spots that he can play in. But ultimately, I am very impressed with how Marcus Leonardo's done. This is how he looks in the future. You can pick him up for an absolute snip. If there's another player that you want to see me play the career of so that we can show you guys how good they can be, let me know down in that comment section. If you want to see one of these for Evan Ferguson as well, guys, check out this video. It's an absolute beast. He's also a very good goal scorer, but much more expensive than this guy.